This week, we are drilling a hole in my A-pillar trim to make a clean install for a Bluetooth microphone. Hey guys, and welcome back to Ellie's Garage where my dad and I are restoring a 1965 Ford Falcon to become my daily driver. But we've never done this before. Yes, we are installing a Bluetooth microphone this week which connects to my radio, but I wanted to put it out there that it is not my plan to constantly be talking on the phone when driving. So I am a new driver, so when I am in my car driving, I keep my phone in my bag so that I don't look at it at all. But there is the occasional time when my mom or dad needs to get a hold of me, and answering the phone while driving is not a very safe thing to do. So just to let you know, for me, Driving time is for driving, and this is just a way to add some convenience and safety when the occasional call comes in. So, on with the install. Two years ago, we installed a Bluetooth radio kit from Retrosound, and it immediately became one of my favorite things about Carl. But one of the features I still hadn't used was the radio's Bluetooth microphone. But now it was finally time to get that installed. In modern cars, they usually have some kind of microphone up here as a way to link it to the radio or whatever Bluetooth device they have in the car. So I was kind of thinking we would do the same thing, but all the way up here is just the headliner, and that seemed really difficult to figure out. <laughs> so I decided to grab the A-pillar trim piece that we have that has not been painted or anything. Um, and I was looking at putting this up here, and then we could drill a hole and put the microphone in here as a way to hold it, but it be at the correct height. So we have a whole bunch of different size grommets from when we did wiring, and I was going to see if one of them would actually fit over the microphone itself and hold it in the A-pillar panel, and we could just drill a hole and set the microphone up, and hopefully that would work out. So I'm going to size a grommet real quick. Yeah. Nope. I think this is our best bet. Does it, is it kind of snug? Yeah. Good. We don't want it to. I mean, that's always a plus. Okay, so before we drill a hole in our trim and go to all the trouble of getting this to work perfectly, we're gonna make sure that the microphone actually works pretty well, because there is a possibility that it doesn't, and that where we want to put it, you can actually hear me. So we're gonna do a little bit of a test. Dad's gonna call me on my phone and then we're gonna see if this mic actually works. Before we could do a test call, I decided to go ahead and run the wire for the Bluetooth mic down through my dash to connect it to my radio. I just need my hand to be like a tiny bit small. <laughs> just like reaching up here? Reach around it. Yep. Pull it up Pull. through here? Yeah. There you go. That's it. Um, in a future episode and what we were going to do today, we were going to clean this up, but we don't want to do that right now. So, it's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, I know it's like I found it! Oh, gum wrapper marker to the rescue. You put a gum wrapper on it to remember which one it was? Yeah, because I didn't want to get up and grab tape. <sighs> And I had a gum wrapper. Alright, so you got it on there? Uh, yes. Cool. So now that we have that routed and it looks all pretty, I'm going to tape the microphone where we're eventually maybe going to put it. So I'm going to put it somewhere like here. So I'm going to tape here. I'm going to put one more piece of tape. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, that looks good. I just don't want it to fall off. Why don't we just leave it like that? There you go. I feel like that looks great. <laughs> okay. Bluetooth connected. So now the idea, uh, if you did it oh, like that a... That was just intuitively, it just kind of... <laughs> so if you did a voice recording right now, mm -hmm. Would it go through the mic? I guess is a is a question. Like, uh, like, uh, like, try a voice text. Hello, hello, hello. It, yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's. I think it's coming through. All right. Okay. So it looks like it's 
it's recording, mm -hmm. or at least the sound's coming through there. Yeah. Okay, so you want to try a call? Yes. All right. So here, you roll up your window. Huh, see ya. I'm going to put it through its paces and have the air conditioning on. Because previously when I answer calls in, my, in the car, I have to turn the air conditioning off and lean as far away from the engine as possible because it's a li little loud. <laughs> I can see him right over there setting up the camera. Okay, just, oh, I'm just around the corner. Here comes Ellie. Hey, can Hello? you hear me? Can Hello? You hear me? Hello? Hello? Hey! Can you hear me? I'm here. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me like well or is it like eh? No, no, like, I mean, it sounds, it's, I mean, it, it, no, it does not sound like you're in a tin can. It sounds like, it's, it sounds good. Okay. And I don't hear my, I don't hear feedback. Like, I don't hear my own voice or anything. Am I, am I coming through the car speakers? Yeah. Oh, cool. No, it, this sounds pretty good. Like, get real close to the microphone and talk. Wait, can you hear me better now? Am I louder now? And now get far away. I'm far away. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's, it's, it, the sound's coming through there. Okay. Um, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't sound as good as like when you're holding your phone to your face. But of course. <laughs> I think that's okay. I think we've we got a success here, so let's move forward uh, and get this thing in. Okay. Cool. Okay. So now that we know this position works, we need to drill the hole in the actual A pillar trim, oh. which that's not fun. <laughs> um, we have a few concerns mainly that the microphone itself is going to be too long and it's not going to let the trim go in but if that is the case we can always cut off the like plastic casing a little bit to make it go further mm -hmm. but first of all before we do any of that we're going to drill the hole to see if it works on its own oh yeah so i'm going to do it like there i like it Mm -hmm. yeah. That's where we're gonna drill it. To find out what size hole I needed to drill, I measured the actual diameter of the grommet using a digital caliper. Like what does it say, just so we know? 21 over 32. 21 30 seconds. So it's like 10 sixteenths, or maybe it might be about a 5 eighths. 11 sixteenths. So what's one below 11 sixteenths? So it'd be, do you want, so it was 10 sixteenths, 5 eighths. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so 5 eighths drill bit. Let's see what you got. I don't know if I have one that big. Yeah, it's right over. Because I have one half, but I don't have 5 eighths. So, but 5 eighths isn't one of the steps on that step bit? It's not on here. Could it be on the other one? Oh, yeah. And? I was so right. We have another one. Fantastic. That has five eighths. Five eighths. Okay, cool. Ah. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Good, <laughs> Good job. Uh, go reverse it out. Good. So now I would say, uh, kind of pick it up a little bit, mm -hmm. let it spin, and just gently let it kind of kiss yeah. on there. Okay, so you're going to be holding it. That's good. Good job. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell. We just cut this hole. Um, so we're gonna file it real quick. We don't want the grommet to get cut because that would be bad. Yeah, that that feels good. Cool. All right, grommet fits really well. It actually is a little loose. And that's probably kind of good. And that's perfect because then we're gonna put the microphone in there and the microphone was a little tight on the grommet. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, that's gonna have a really clean look. Right. 
I'm going to put the grommet in first. That's probably a good call. Which is the nice side of the grommet. Nice. Okay. Do you want a little uh, grease or anything? or? I don't think so. I think I just have to position the grommet perfect. It's coming through. Ooh, look at that. It's like flesh. Look. That's looking cool, though. How far do we want it out? That's well, I guess it, what really depends on is how, how, how shallow it's going to be. Because here, let's look at that. But yeah, so, so it you, sticks out it sticks a good out a amount, decent amount out of the back. I don't think that's gonna fit, but we might as well try before we go and yeah, cut stuff. I mean, if we squish it, it'll, yeah, it's definitely hitting. Yeah, it's definitely hitting. Okay, and it's, it's hitting that. on the back of the yeah. the mic deal there, yeah. right? So honestly, if we just cut here. Yeah, so as long as we cut around there without damaging the mic cord. Yes. Okay, I'm going to see if I can do this. <laughs> yeah. So the idea is I take this little hacksaw blade, uh -huh. and I'm going to really carefully score around the outside. All around? All around. And then hopefully I can break it off. The reason I'm keeping it in here is so that I don't have to have my finger as close to the blade as I would if I was holding it. Yeah. So hopefully this will help. So this back piece is what we're trying to take off. Because we think if that's off, then that, it's going to sit a little flatter. Oh yeah, you, you cut through there nicely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did it come off? Mm -hmm. Nice job. Oh, that's perfect. I want to get the wire. There we go. And I didn't hit the wire. Nice work. That's so, that'll also help relieve uh, some cord stress if it has to bend, you know, mm -hmm. a bunch. That's a good idea. All right, so yeah, give it a shot. Hopefully that. Will yeah, work. if that doesn't work, then just push the mic out a little more. Mm -hmm. it looks like it's. How it's meant to sit. So there's a gap here, but I think that's because of the wind lace needs to go here, which we had on the original. Yeah, part. and when you squeeze it, like that's yeah, not that's it, not like, like, I like can't it's really move it at all. That's like and the that's not of microphone. It. No. So I think we have it on correctly. But it looks so good. It looks good. really nice. Okay, we're gonna do one more test just one to more make test. sure it works. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna call you this time so you can try okay. to answer it. Okay. So excited. Alright, so calling Ellie. Oh my gosh, I answered it with the radio! Well, what? That was so it's, cool! It sounds really good. It, does? it sounds really good. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> like here, wait, here, wait, keep it running. Come out here and stay connected and you can come listen to how what it sounds like. Okay. Wait, you really can't hear the whole car a whole bunch. That's really nice. Hello. So you can tell you're in a car, but it it sounds decent. Yes, no, it sounds. That's what I mean. This sounds good, and you, it sounds great in here. Sounds I know it really sounds good. really good in there. Okay, do you want to hang up on me from inside your car? I want you to hang up. I bet. You if you, you do the same thing as you as I answered the call, maybe you can end the call? Okay, you ready? All right, yeah. I'm gonna hang up now. Bye. Bye. End. That did it. <laughs> that did it. It worked. That's so cool. 
I know it was a small thing, but getting this Bluetooth mic in was really so much fun and so satisfying. Not only does it look really good, but it's going to be a lot safer when and if I need to answer a call when I'm driving. So what I'm taking out of the garage is that it's really nice when something turns out even better than you thought it could. Thank you so much to Retrosound for sending us this radio, what, two years ago? <laughs> yeah. And for us not installing the mic until just now. If you would like the exact same radio that I got, go to either the link in the description or their website. You can search by your car's make and model. There are lots of different options to choose from, so just go check them out. Thanks as always to my executive producer, Drew Carter. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time in the garage.